Robert Glasper. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the Day Show. Thank you. Thank you for Good having me. Appreciate you, it. Absolutely. Good to have you here. For sure. Um, for one of the most anticipated albums, I think, of all time. All time, period. Genuinely, yeah. of all time. Past Thriller. Like for sure. before music was even invented, people Absolutely. have just been like, this is this is what we've been waiting for. And I'm acting like it's not a big deal. But that's <laughs> it, it is. It is. So, you know, we know that. Oh now. man, I feel like you're a big deal though, man. It's like, you know, there are a few musicians like you'll meet or you'll hear about where every musician wants to work with them. You know, with comedians, we say it's a comedian's comedian. Right. You know, right. you are a musician's musician. Right. Erica, from, everyone from Erica Badu all yeah. the way through to like her and Corday and you know, mm. Kendrick Lamar. Mm. Let's start with that. What do you think it is about your music that every musician gravitates towards? Uh, I think it's just being honest, the honesty of it all, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm technically trained, you know, class, a little bit of classical music, but I went to school for jazz, you know, okay. all that stuff. So I have that, but at the same time, you know, and with all the genres that I play, I play with the masters of that genre. So when I cross over, it's, it, it's a real thing, you know what I mean? So I, I play with the masters of hip hop. I used to play in the roots. I played with Jay Dilla, you know what I mean? I, I used to play with Q-Tip and Common and all those, so that's the hip hop thing. And then the R&B world, we're just talking about playing with Maxwell for years, yes, and my right. friend Bilal, and Let It Sing, Layla Hathaway, and all these other people. And you know, I grew up playing with, my, 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 my mother was a singer, you know, a vocalist. So it's like, I was just in those, in those slots with, with the real people for, that, for, yeah, for so yeah, long. Yeah. So I can tap into that, you know what I mean? I so like I this, think... like a, in, a, in a kung fu movie, you go and learn with all the best masters of all the exactly. different styles. Exactly. I'm you know like Bruce I mean? Lee of, 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 of the piano. <laughs> it's like the Wing Chun of music. Bruce That's Lee of is. the piano. That's what it is. Come and see him, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's what, they call him the Bruce Lee of the piano. <laughs> I mean, there's a few people who could argue with this. Like, like for those who don't know, I mean, like, let's say somebody like Kendrick Lamar, yeah. you know? He is he's known to be one of the most meticulous artists out there. Absolutely. You work with him on uh, Pimper Pimper Butterfly, Butterfly yeah. right? So Pimper Butterfly. Yeah. But the way it happens is you're supposed to be there for one song. Yeah. He hears you play. Yep. Yeah. And then he goes like, no, all of it. All of it. Yeah, I was there. My friend Terrace Martin called me. He's like, yo, come by the studio. I'm here with Kendrick now. I need you to play for one song. Wait, that happens down. in real life? Literally one, in real you life. You see, I've, I've heard that like in movies <laughs> and stuff. Be like, come to the studio right now. I didn't know that was real. It was so, I was recording my own record. I was recording my record covered. And my boy Terrace called me, he's like, you in LA? I was like, yeah, he's like, I'm at the studio, I'm at Dr. Dre's studio with Kendrick. Come now, after you finish recording that, come there. And I went there, played the first song, and Kendrick was there. He's like, whoa, 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 keep him there. Pull up, <laughs> so-and-so, pull up, so-and-so. And I would hear it once and play what I heard. He's like, play what you hear. Wow. And I, would, I literally did every song, one take, play, play what I heard. So I'm, like, I'm on like nine or 10 songs. On the some of the stuff I didn't even get credit for because it happened so fast. <laughs> you know what I mean? After you know, but like everything happened so fast. But it was amazing, man. And Kendrick's so open. He's so, he's like a jazz musician. To me. Yes, you know, he's just yes, he so is. open yeah. in whatever happens in the moment. He's like, let's do that. You know what I mean? So when you're choosing who to collaborate with on 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 your albums, I mean, you you have a pick. You know, every artist wants to work with you. Mm -hmm. You you love working with with different artists. Mm -hmm. You don't just pick who you want to work with. You also pick what genre you want the album to fall into. And not many people can do that. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't know this until I was doing the research for this interview. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that when it comes to the Grammys, you have to choose which category you choose. your music is going to be in. You choose what category That's your music a gamble. is going to be in. Absolutely. Because in jazz, you pretty much know, I mean, come on. I was a jazz, and, and that's what happened with, with, with my first Black Radio album. Yes. Black Radio 1, it came out 2012. Okay. And I'm a jazz musician, so I had four jazz albums before that. Right. And, and you've won four Grammys. I've I mean, won we four Grammys. This. Exactly, yes. exactly. I'm out here. You know what I mean? But um, <laughs> it's not about the award, it's about the music. But I, um, with that, everybody's like, oh, you're a jazz musician, so put the album in the jazz category. But I was on the streets, I was on tour with Maxwell. Yes. I'm knowing what's happening in the R&B world. The R&B world loved the record. Right. The hip hop world loved the record. Right. So I knew, like, I'm, I'm seeing it happen in real time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put this in the, I'm gonna put this in the R&B category. And when we got nominated, I was like, oh, man. That, I, I was done then. I was like, we're not going to win. But That's I was like, the vindication cool. you needed. Vindication I needed. And then when you, know, when you have Jimmy Jam. Why do you think you're not going to win? Because no one knew me in that category. No one knows me. No, at that time, no one knew me in that world. Yeah, but so I'm kind of thinking, in my mind, I'm like, I'm thinking, OK, we got nominated. At least that, I'm good for that. I'm not thinking we're going to win. That's because not no how Bruce Lee me. would think. That is not how Bruce Lee would think. You know? That's true. Bruce right. Lee would go, I'm going to win the Grammy. I, can't, I became Bruce Lee right after that Grammy. That's when I became Bruce Lee. Got it. The grasshopper. Uh, exactly. That's, that's exactly that's what, it, what is. it is. For sure. Um, growing up as a kid, I, I, I love listening and hearing about your story because um, I, love, I love hearing about anybody who's been to church as much as I have oh, growing yeah. up. Oh, yeah. You were in church a lot. A lot. For like, no reason, all the time. 
My which, mom was the reason. Not for no reason. It's for all the reasons. It's you for get, all the you reasons. Get the blessings. But you know. What do you mean? You get blessings. <laughs> but like, you know, okay, so because a lot of people go to a lot of church, yeah. but few people I've met go to different churches. So my mom took me to every different kind of church. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? So, and you played, that's what that's what intrigued me. Yeah. You played music in every church. I played for a seven day Adventist church okay. on, Saturday, on Saturdays. All right. I played for a Catholic church early Sunday morning. But what are you playing at the Catholic church? This particular hymns, hymnals. Okay. But this particular Catholic church, also the, the priest was a jazz fan. And, <laughs> and the, the, the choir director, uh, rest in peace, Kim Roy, she passed away, but she was a jazz singer. So they would do the call and response things to jazz No, tunes. come on. It was so innovative. Come on, you're telling me that when I was in Catholic church, I could have been getting jazz. Absolutely. We were, we were changing up things and making them jazz. It was amazing. And then right around the corner at 11 o'clock, I would go to the Baptist church, I played that. So that must have been the most fun. Absolutely. And I was balling. I made money. In high school, I was crazy with the money. Wait, they paid you? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. Oh, man. I've only I given money at so church. I've never friends. gotten money from church. Yeah, I bought so much lunch from my friends. It was crazy. <laughs> Turn the tops on me. It's going down. I, I'm, I'm not even thirsty, but I'm, I always want to do this. Oh, no, you should show. do it. That's what it's here for. Mm. It's not even for the like the actual drinking of the thing. Uh, um, we just keep the water from episode exactly. to episode. We don't even change it. Just want to do it. So yeah. um, <laughs> two Grammy nominations coming up. Yes. Uh, I know you're going to be working at the Oscars as well. Uh, the album comes out February 25th. 25th. Yes, Black Radio 3. Absolutely. A lot of pressure. Not are you, really, are obviously. You... No pressure. See. You forgot. Be water, my friend. I'm loving this, man. Because most people would go, the first album came out, it was basically like, like The Godfather, you know, where people were just like, what is this album? Yes. Then the second one came out, people were like, it cannot, it, it, we didn't think it could get better, but it did. Boom. Now you got the third one coming out. The third one coming most out. Most people would think pressure. I, no, no pressure. Like water. Like water, my friend. My friend, congratulations on another amazing Thank album. Thank, Thank you for you. being on the show. Absolutely. Black Appreciate Radio it. 3 comes out February 25th.